Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Tech Sport Gone Bad here, and I just got my my friends here. So I just got my uh, my RAM here for my laptop. And in in a previous video, I told you guys that I was going to be ordering some RAM, and I'm gonna make a video on how to install it. So here we go. So, yeah. All right. So first, we're gonna be opening up the laptop. It's just so hard. All right. Here's the shiva laptop. Got the laptop. Now for the tools. You you're not gonna these aren't mandatory. You you don't need like all these special tools for it. But since we had these tools laying around, like why not use them? But just I paid forty bucks for those. Okay, we paid forty bucks for them. So basically, the only thing you need is a screwdriver that has a cross. That's basically the only tool you need. So you need a Phillips screwdriver, and um, you you only have to worry when touching the RAM. Don't touch the circuits of it. Just touch the corners. But since we have the right stuff, like the right tools, it's going to be easier for us. But if you don't, just don't worry about it. Just, you just need a Phillips screwdriver and make sure you're not touch the circuits of the RAM. Hold on, let's open it. Yeah, just open it. You guys are ruining my shot. Oh my god. Alright, so here's the RAM. But, uh, the laptop RAM. Use it super smaller. small. Smaller than regular desktop RAM. Yeah, if you have a desktop, it's gonna be bigger. And we have receipt. So All right. So basically, make sure when you touch a RAM, never touch it from this part. Always touch it from the corners. Unless you have the anti shock. And yeah, so I don't want to touch it from there. Okay. And let's now let's okay, open so it up. You want to find the compartment that your RAM is located in and open it up. And let me see if I can get a closer shot here. As you uh -huh. can see, one of the compartments has RAM in it and the other one doesn't. So here's one RAM and there's nothing in that one. So that's where we're going to be putting the other piece of RAM. Set that right there. So uh, and again be careful while touching the RAM. You can short circuit it. Really easily. Really easily. Just hold it like how he's holding it. Yeah hold it. Just hold it like this. Like hold this. it like that and don't touch the circuits. So just set that. Right. Where should I set that? Here you sit on this. Just sit on this. Okay. Alright so he's going to And we have it. new RAM. Yeah. Alright so basically this is a one gig, one gig RAM. DDR2. It is. Yeah, so DDR2. Very easy to install. Just give us a second here. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. yeah, just stick just it in make there. Make sure you make sure you line line this part up with the computers or laptops or desktop, whatever you have. Make There's sure gonna be a little slot where it goes in. You want to make sure to line it up and just force it in, not too tightly. And that's it. Very very simple. Make sure it's locked in. Make good. sure it's locked because it, the computer won't detect yeah, it. Yeah, if it doesn't get locked, the computer won't detect it, and you're pretty much screwed. Exactly, that happened to me. <laughs> I yeah. lost a gig of RAM. And just put that back in there. Screw it back in. Oh it's, the, it's the same process with uh, actual um, PC computer. Not it's it. just the. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. The same. You just the other one that requires more. Pushing down. Yeah. Same process uh, with the no, uh, PC computer. It's just that the thing's bigger, the RAM is bigger, and it takes more um, effort to push it down. And it's just it's just a little harder because the RAM's bigger. Okay. And screw it in, and that that's pretty much it. So then you must make sure that it's actually in there. We're gonna go into the so, BIOS and check it. Yeah, we're gonna open it up and actually check through the files, make sure everything's working correctly, and yeah, give it a test run here. Okay, so now uh, we just turned on the laptop and this pops up. It's gonna tell you all your updated info right here. It says system memory and it's updated. Everything's working fine. So that that's what should happen. You just wanna press um, F10, save configuration setting, what and just turn. Say? turn on um, the laptop and everything should work fine and your RAM should be working fine. Okay, so the computer seems to be working fine. Um, it's running faster than before when it only had half a gig of RAM. And well, yeah, so after all this hard work, let's go get some pizza. So fun fact of the day, did you know that Circuit City, Best Buy and other stores like that, they cost, they charge over 50 bucks to for, rem, for memory upgrades, RAM upgrades, and they charge even more if you want to actually buy the RAM from the store. So congratulations, you just saved over 50 bucks. And I got myself some pizza.